The Nothing Phone 1 is official and launching later this summer. The first real big deal product from Carpe's new startup will see him going up against the brand he co-founded eight years ago, OnePlus. And while information on it is sketchy, there's enough out there to give us a rough idea of what to expect. So let's jump in and recap everything we know so far about the Nothing Phone 1. Take a sec to subscribe and we'll get started. The one key hardware aspect that everyone can agree on is how the back of this phone will probably look. Nothing's trademark aesthetic so far has been transparency, with the Ear One earbuds giving us a glimpse of the circuitry and other internal hardware. So safe to say we'll see at least some translucency in the chassis of a Nothing phone. It's a design trend we've already seen play out a few years back with certain phones from Xiaomi and HTC, but which seems to have fallen out of favour more recently. Back in March, that conventional wisdom was backed up by a leak from TechCrunch, which claimed the phone would indeed include some transparent elements in its design, and that Carpe himself would be shopping it around partners at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Once again, that makes sense, and meetings like that are a huge part of what a show like MWC is all about. And that leads us to this leaked photo from the illustrious Evan Blass, aka Evleaks, which appears to show Carpe holding a phone in some sort of obscuring case, showing it to none other than Qualcomm CEO Cristiano Oman. The phone appears to be one of these cases intended to hide its design, they're called lunchboxes in the business because they're often big, clunky and plasticky. Now some people have suggested that this could have been a planted leak let out intentionally by someone at nothing in order to build hype, and that's totally possible given how little of the phone it actually shows us. On the other hand, I've been in and around plenty of these trade show meeting rooms over the years, and if you really wanted to sneak a photo like this, it wouldn't be that difficult. For April Fool's Day, nothing poked fun at the rest of the phone industry with the Another One. I guess giving an example of what not to look for in the upcoming phone's design. Basically the same design cues that we see in a lot of Android phones right now. Curved display, shiny back panel, predictable camera layout. So this is apparently what it won't look like, but as far as the physical design goes, nothing has dropped a few clues, including at its online event in late March where it unveiled this cryptic pattern of characters. Sure looks to me like the back of a phone with dual rear cameras, a wireless charging coil, and something up on the top right corner there. It's been speculated that this could be some kind of modular attachment area, similar to what was originally planned by Essential for its ecosystem. Nothing did acquire the Essential brand back in 2020, but it's not clear whether it also got any of the technology the company was developing before it imploded. That said, Nothing is working on its own ecosystem, so who knows, maybe this is some sort of physical or magnetic connector. Anyway, thanks to Nothing's recent teaser event and some information from our own sources, we know a lot more about what's going on inside the Phone 1 versus the actual external design of the thing. But before we get to that, it's worth taking a sec to debunk one of the more bizarre spec rumours to come to light recently. This comes from a Kindle ebook on Amazon purporting to be a manual for the Nothing Phone 1, including certain hardware details like an alleged Snapdragon 778 and triple rear cameras. This was picked up by a bunch of tech sites despite the alleged manual itself being bizarrely worded and full of grammatical errors. If you take more than a passing glance at it, you'll also see the author's entire output is just random phone manuals and bizarrely threadbare lifestyle and self-help books. Basically just an account spamming low-value content onto Amazon in the hope of making a few quick bucks. Seriously, some of this guy's output is really, really strange. Anyway, key takeaway here is that, of course, you won't find any legit Nothing Phone 1 specs in this so-called manual. All nonsense aside though, Nothing has already revealed that it'll run a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor in its phone, and a reliable source has told us that the phone will be powered by an upcoming unannounced Snapdragon 7 series chip, likely the successor to the 778 that was launched last year. So don't expect it to use the very fastest Snapdragon 8 Gem 1, but that might actually be a good thing considering those 8 series chips haven't exactly excelled in terms of battery life recently. On the other hand, phones running the 7 series chips like Google's Pixel 5 and 5a have routinely offered great battery life alongside performance that is still fast enough. So it's possible this could still be a fantastic, really highly performing phone, even on a future Snapdragon 7 series platform. On the software side, back in March we got our first look at the new Nothing OS based on Android 12. This basically appears to take the aesthetic of the control app for the Ear One Buds and extend it to an entire smartphone UI. The dot matrix font and visual style is present throughout, with an abundance of grayscale and red highlights and some skeuomorphic touches too, like this tape deck in the recorder app. And we got a hint of the first baby steps for the much hyped Nothing ecosystem in that same presentation, with special connectivity of course for the Ear Ones, alongside popular third-party products like AirPods and Teslas. 
A lot of the early marketing lines around Nothing OS will sound pretty familiar if you ever watched Carl Pei talk about Oxygen OS while he was still at OnePlus. Fast and smooth, no bloatware, the best of stock Android with a unique spin. And paired with the promise of three years of Android updates and four years of security patches, it could be enough to win over fans from OnePlus. So far, we've been able to get a bit of a taste of how Nothing OS will function with the Nothing Launcher Beta, which you can test drive right now on certain Google, Samsung, and OnePlus phones. Fair warning that there's not a whole lot to see right now. It's basically the stock Android launcher with a few neat additions like extra large icons or folders. There are a few new widgets too, like the dot matrix weather widget, and a clock widget that's actually a little bit Apple-like in its aesthetic, along with this slightly creepy glitch art style wallpaper. And for now, that's really it. We kind of know what the software will look like, the basic kind of process of the little run, and that it'll have a fancy translucent back of some sort, likely with wireless charging to boot. But other key features like the camera and all the other nothing branded apps besides that recorder dealie are nowhere to be seen. And after calling out basically the entire tech industry for being boring, nothing certainly has a lot to prove. We'll likely start learning a bit more about the Nothing Phone 1 when its release approaches later in the summer. In the meantime, hit the comments and let us know what you're hoping to see from this device. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.